Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope y'all are having an awesome day. Y'all, as you're hopping on, say hey to everybody. And let me know where y'all are watching from. I hope y'all had a wonderful week. Who's ready for the weekend? Alright, I think I got this ready. Y'all, tonight we are going to be making a tray. And I already started painting it. And I'm going to use some of the... Re it's a resin kit. Has anybody used this? I have been wanting to do this. And I was like, tonight's the night. I want to make a tray because I've got some... I don't know if y'all saw the post earlier. Um, my Mason Grove shop just came out with some new... Uh, awesome smelling product. Anyway, so I'm going to make a tray for my bathroom. And I, I'm like, it needs to be where I can sit stuff on it and it doesn't get, you know, the tray doesn't get messed up. And I'm like, great time to use that resin. All right, y'all, these box frames are already white. Can y'all see me okay? I hope so. Um, and then these are little people. I got a bag of these from, uh, where'd I get them? Hobby Lobby. So these are going to become the little feet. So, I and I'm dry brushing like the brown area. And look, I'm hesitant. I'm going to pick it up and show y'all. But this is one of our, um, I think it's like 6 by 18 or 18 I don't know. Anyway, it's a great size. Perfect for a tray. And the inside's already white, or you can use the other side, which is um, stained. But I'm just dry brushing the edges. And I went ahead and got that started before y'all got on here. And now, when I dry brush, I just get a little bit of paint on my paintbrush. And I just, I don't want it to be, um, you know, I don't want it to be solid. Now, if you want it to be solid, then uh, it will. It would look good, solid, any color you like. But y'all know that I am rustic, and I like a little bit of rustic. And you could use like a palette knife. So many things that you can do to make something look rustic. So see my edges. I will go back and sand them light, uh, lightly. Yes, y'all tell me where you're watching from. And look, I've already, this comes in a bag of, let me grab it. This is what it looks like. And it actually says, uh, man, eight pieces. And of course, I tore the bag upside down. But that's what it looks like. And now they've got different things that look like this. They've got like candlesticks. But... I like these, and I'm going to put them on. They're going to be my feet, and they're going to sit like this. And I was debating on what color to paint them. But white it is. Hey, hey, hey. And, y'all, when you're painting something like this, you're going to get messy. It's still cold. Oh, no. Y'all, oh, my gosh. We we just had the two most amazing days. Now, it was sprinkling rain out there a while ago. And I think, you know, what they what do they say? We're going to have some overnight sh showers. <laughs> hey, Mary from Washington and Jody. Uh, but anyway, this is... And look, I'm going to use a transfer that I have never used before. It is a vintage rose pattern. I've never used it. And I was like, am I going to use like a rose color? And I was like, no. Let's see. Do you need your glue gun on? Uh, but yes, very great idea. I'm turning it on. Because I'm going to glue these feet on with um, Gorilla Glue glue sticks. 
And look, I've been using Gorilla Glow glow sticks and gluing stuff on like this for a while. But you can add a little bit of wood glue if you want to make sure. You could use E6000, any of that stuff. Hey, Nina from Texas. Coming from Maryland, and it's raining for several days. Y'all, we've had a lot of rain this, this I'm going to call it spring. I know spring just really started. Hey, Tony. Hey, Judy. Hey, Cindy. And look, I'm only going to put one coat on here. And you could, when you're making your tray, you could, you know, stain these. It'd be really pretty stained. I have seen, like, a lot of cute trays. But I hadn't seen that many shaped like this. Like, if you wanted to set this... Like, if you had a large enough sink area, and y'all look, I am crossing my fingers that this epoxy is going to do what I want it to. I mean, I feel like it will. And I actually, I have that epoxy, because I'm like, I'm going to try that, because it's inex inexpensive. You know, it's $5, but I think that's like a good price for epoxy. Awesome, Irma. Where you been, girl? Hey, Laura. Hey, Jocelyn. It was 88 today in South Georgia. Love it. Okay. So these are our feet. A.K.A. little people. A.K.A. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Bet you can't wait to get your bracelets. Oh, I know it. Yes. You know what I need to do? I need to come up with a DIY, like, bracelet and earring holder. Because I got plenty of those. Somebody said, why don't you use gloves? I don't know. I just don't know. You have the cutest ideas. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Y'all, do y'all remember when I went to the vintage market? Was it last weekend or when, weekend before? I, um, actually, the only thing I got when I was there was two pairs of earrings. This is one of them. All right, let's get these little feet dry. And I'm, I'm hoping that this board is... Let me get it dry around the edges. Oh, me too, Pam. Pam's talking about... My daughter does the uh, Fizz jewelry reveals. And I think once or twice a year, they have these items called stacks and they're bracelets. Let's see, Debbie, I would love to do what you do. Oh, well, you should. I am a chalk couture designer and... Um, I've always been a DIY crafter. Um, I have a blog that I've had since 2010. Um, and, you know, I've always just like sharing ideas. So when I found Chalk Couture, I was like, that's perfect. You can add it to anything. Of course, you know, it was probably originally designed for chalkboards. But y'all, we put it on everything. <laughs> Anything that stands still. Thanks, Ruby. I feel like this is... Kathy said epoxy is fun. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Me too, because I haven't used it over chalk yet. I feel like it'll be fine. It says it takes 24 hours to dry. And listen, y'all, I've got, like, some hand cleaner that's kind of oily. So it doesn't take long to this to get this cleaned up. Hey from Kansas. I missed the rest of that. And y'all, I kind of do, I've got this big, I don't even know what it was. It almost looks like a big sifter with some open weave. And I, I really like stick my earrings on that. I'll have to show y'all. 
Let's see. Use what you want to. Ah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, listen. If y'all want to use gloves, and I heard, I saw somebody say that they don't do as good of a job. And, I mean, I, y'all, I, I have to touch stuff. I don't know about you. Oh, my gosh. Dawn, you're going to have six to eight inches of snow. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I can't imagine. And y'all, we've probably talked about this, but has this been like the snowiest winter spring ever? It seems like it is. I mean. You know, I don't know. Okay. I don't know if it's the snowiest winter. I have no idea. I got some. I got some clumpy spots right here. I'm just going to get this paper towel and kind of get it off. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to just sand it a little bit. Hey, it's not a project if we don't use some sandpaper, is it? The inside, I didn't do anything to. It was already white. Stinchy, stinchy, stinchy. I see several of y'all saying you don't like to wear gloves. All right. My glue gun's still getting hot. I'm going to add a little bit of wax. I guess if I had some gloves that were tight enough, I guess. Hey, from North Carolina, no snow. What part of North Carolina? We used to live in close to Murphy. Uh, it's a town called Andrews. It's a very, it was a very small town. I don't know what it is now. Oh, y'all, let me ask you this. Um, are any of my club members on here? Because I was going to show you the April Club. Somebody was asking about it the other night. And uh, I want to show it to y'all. If you're not in the club... First of all, here these two projects were made with the March Club and this one. So if you join now, you'll get the March. But in April, you will get this one. Isn't that so stinking cute? We're going to put it everywhere. <laughs> I cannot wait. I absolutely love it. And if, if y'all are like me, and I think you are, we love our farmhouse stuff. Okay, now y'all, I told you I have not used the vintage rose, and we're and we're. I was like, am I gonna do it pink? No, I'm gonna do it eggshell blue. Ta-da! Isn't that gorgeous? Does this not have my name all over it? Okay, well here is the vintage rose. Isn't that pretty? This looks so good on uh, a pillow. Let's see. Awesome. And y'all, we're just gonna use part of this. Did y'all, what do y'all think about the farmhouse look? And look, y'all, the sticky part is the blue area. I'm not gonna add any fuzz because there's not hardly any blue area on here. It, you know, usually if we add some fuzz to the transfer, let me see. I'm trying to see, like I'll have a good Good couple of roses. But anyway, um, that is the April Club. I'm excited about it too, Dawn. Now I'm gonna I'm just making sure I don't have any bubbles or anything. Um, the vintage rose is gorgeous. It's it's a vintage rose. And it's so so pretty. Gosh, do I hear it raining a little bit? And look, I'm going to, this is like a little palette knife from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to scoop out some and put it on here. I'm going to get grab my squeegee, but I just wanted to get a large amount. And y'all, if you like the blue or this color, it's one of my favorites too. Y'all, it is so pretty. 
I need to find me some clothes that color. All right. And now I've got my paste in here. Let me turn it around this way so y'all can see. And I'm just going to squeegee. And y'all, tonight, the key word is tray. But I also put all the supplies up in the header. I'm going to call it the header. I think I call it something different every time. And y'all, we're just squeegeeing all over. We're going to make sure that everything is covered. And then we're going to dry this really good. And we're going to put our feet on here. Then we're going to put epoxy from Dollar Tree. And y'all, what if I go crazy and start putting everything with, I'm calling it epoxy. It's resin. Whatever. Resin, epoxy. It's that thick, clear stuff. <laughs> anyway, you know, I haven't been using it. Let's see. What if you use, oh, uh, I don't know what you said. I'll have to go back and see that. Y'all look. Looky, looky, looky. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Why have I not used this pattern before? That is gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna put this on my backer sheet. All right, let's get this dry. Y'all. This is so pretty. Isn't this gorgeous? I've, I have this, um, like, I made it out of a pallet, but it's one of those trays that goes across the bathtub, and I want to sit this on top of that and put all my new um, Mason Grove like body scrubs and body butter and all that on here. Thank you, Judy. Y'all, isn't that just gorgeous? Catherine, thank you. I have had an awesome Friday. Whoops. That's not dry. Good evening. Oh, Deborah, that's awesome. Deborah says she uses this pattern more than anything. Y'all, I'm just not like a frilly person. Uh, this color is eggshell blue. And look how gorgeous it is. one of my favorites. It does look 3D. Oh, I will. Y'all, because this epoxy has to um, set up for 24 hours, so we'll have to come back and visit this project after it dries. But we're going to mix it up and pour it on here tonight. Debbie, I just painted this. Debbie asked the question, am I going to leave this white? I just, I just painted it like 30 seconds ago. Oh, look, somebody just said, when's the next Debbie and Barry night? We need to get Barry to, to settle down. Oh, yes. Rhonda, where have you been? I'm on here every day. I skip a day every now and then. Rhonda says this is the first time she's seen me in a while. Thanks, Linda. Yeah, y'all be sure to let me know if you sprinkle, share. I know, listen, when I look back at videos, when I'm like looking at the, and I'm like, I'm just reading y'all's comments. Yeah, I'll, listen, if you type the word tray, I'm, I put every supply in here, and this is the 6 by 18 
It is wonderful. You could do it as a sign. I love it as a tray. All right. Let's go ahead and put our feet on. And like I said, I'm going to put the rounded part down. And I'm just going to put them in the corners. I am using... Uh, oh, good grief. Gorilla Glue in my hot glue gun. And like I said... If you want some extra strength, you want to make sure that it's not going anywhere, add some uh, wood glue or some E6000 or something like that. Usually, when I put something somewhere, it doesn't get it doesn't get moved around a lot. You renovated the whole house and you're trying to get settled in. Oh my gosh. Well, I totally understand that. Might have put that too far in there. And these are these are the little pieces. Let's see. Do you distress right after painting? I, I let it dry first. Um and I had started painting this before y'all got on here. I'm just wanting to hold these down for a second until the glue cools a little bit. But I'm sure y'all have seen a, like trays like this. Uh, this actually says resin. I have one that says resin slash epoxy. So honestly, what's the difference in them? <laughs> All right, so y'all look at that. How stinking cute! Can y'all see? Can y'all see the feet? Isn't that cute? I don't know about y'all, but I like anything that's raised up a little bit. I just want to make sure this is good and dry. Thanks, Kim. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up, it says, uh, resin kits. Let's see. And it's six, six ounces total. And the, the only thing the instructions say is mix together equally. And let it dry for 24 hours. And look, if you need any details on the products, just type the word tray. Click on the link and it's got everything. All the dimensions, all the colors. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Paula. Hey, Terry. Hey, Anne Marie. I'm so stinking excited about this resin. And I've got this plastic cup. The, listen, the directions are so vague. I don't know if you can use a plastic cup. I'm going to. Hey, Barry. Barry, everybody wants to know when we're going to have another, another challenge. This feels dry. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. So we have our tray that's going to sit. I've got the longer tray across the bathtub, and then I'm going to sit this on top. All right, let's do this, y'all. I'm going to scoot this out of the way. And I'm just going to mix all of this up. I feel like it's going to take all of it. I hope this cup is big enough. And let's see. This is the hardener. It just, it's got a lot of warning stuff. I'm sure it says... It probably says... It says gloves. Anyway, y'all follow the instructions on this stuff. I'm like, should I put on gloves for that? Look, I've got my hands all messy, but I, I'm going to put on gloves for this. <laughs> and listen, y'all, while y'all got Barry on here, y'all be asking him about the next project. Look, these fit kind of tight. <laughs> Sandy, I just made the tray. If you type the word tray in, you're going to get, like, everything I used... Um, 
description of it. Oh gosh, y'all. I hate having to take these off. I usually use my mouth. <laughs> Whoops. Let me see. And did anybody tell me if y'all used this before? This tray is 6 by 18, so it's large and in charge. Okay. So this is A. This is a resin. I'm going to put it in here. I hope it doesn't eat this cup up. <laughs> Be sure to mix well or it won't work. Okay. Ooh, this don't even look like it's enough. Berries up for a challenge, y'all. Y'all, what am I going to do if this isn't enough? Can I just spread it around? Can I spread it around a little bit and then get some more tomorrow? How does that work? Do I have to wait for it to dry 24 hours to put some more? I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be sad if this isn't enough. Because look, it doesn't look like much in there. Goodness gracious. And why didn't I get two of these? Why didn't I get two of these? Because I was like, am I ever going to use it? I have to get other craft supplies. <laughs> Y'all check your messages. Because that's where, okay, this is the hardener. Here we go. Barry's ready for a challenge. Hey, what do y'all think we should do? So you have used the Dollar Tree one? Awesome. Somebody said they used it to make some fake pines. Just do a thin coat. I think it's just going to be a thin coat. You have to hit the epoxy with a heat gun. Now, why do I have to do that? It doesn't say that on these instructions. I'm going to use a plastic spoon, and I'm just going to mix. It said mix for, it did say mix for three to five minutes. All right, look, I'm looking at these comments, and I want y'all to tell me, I want y'all to tell me why, how do I, Dawn says does it stink, and it, it doesn't. I've never tried resin. Look, I'm, we doing it tonight. Uh, somebody just, when you type the word tray, are you not getting a message from me? And if you're not, up in the description, it's everything too. Now it looks like enough. Awesome, Judy. Let's see, don't stir too hard. Ooh! Oh my gosh, I've made bubbles. What in the world am I going to do? Now I do have, okay, look, I've got a heat gun. Let me get it. Thank you for telling me that. I'm so glad I have one. I don't think I've used it. Okay, yeah, y'all, this does not have an odor. But I did. Y'all, I did make some bubbles. Mix slow. I wish I'd have seen that before. Can y'all tell me if the war, if y'all are getting a message when you type tray? Okay. I think it works. I have probably. Look, if this has bubbles in it, I'm going to say it's for a bubble bath. It's in the bathroom. It has bubbles because we planned it like that. What do y'all think? Let's see. Yeah, somebody said that the, the, the heat gun will get the bubbles out. I might have a bubbly mess. Don't use a heat gun on the plastic cup. Oh, I won't. <laughs> but I do have some bubbles, sadly. Okay, yeah, yeah. You get a message. Okay, awesome. 
I hope I hope this is stirred enough. I don't want to mess this up. All right. So we this is really like this is a board with a and I like it because it has an edge. Um, and we put the feet on here. We painted the edges. We um, dry brushed them, and then we chalked with this gorgeous design vintage rose. Okay. And it says this has to um, harden for 24 hours. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to pour it on here. And we'll, we'll see how this works. I'm just going to pour it down the middle. I'm gonna I'm gonna check I'm gonna check and see because I don't want it to be too thick and I don't know what to do how to spread it out so I'm just gonna kind of I'm gonna kind of look at it and roll it around y'all I do have like a weird looking little piece right here. I don't know what that is. Gosh, it looks like a piece of plastic. We're, we're taking that out. I don't, I don't know how I did that. I don't want it to fill up my whole ridge but I want it to. Y'all, I don't really see any bubbles. Whoa. Somebody said use the spoon, so I'm going to use the spoon. It looks like everything's covered. It looks like it's, looks like it's thick enough. Because I still want to have my, I still want to have the ridge. Can y'all see that? I don't want to turn it because it's it's level. And I don't see any bubbles. It it looks like it's everywhere it should be. So I'm gonna use this just in case. Just in case I have any bubbles. Actually, I think I need a little bit right here. Thank y'all for all your help. Whoa, we got a little tight. And listen, somebody said that I could get it on the top. Now what? If, I hope I'm not making a mess. <laughs> this is probably not the way the professionals do it. I think I might have just spilled some on my table. Look, from what I can see, y'all look like y'all know what y'all are doing. And y'all listen, the only instructions it said was to stir them together for two or three minutes and let it sit for 24 hours. That's what it said. I'm probably getting this on my desk and everywhere else.
But I thought this would be perfect for a tray that's going to be by the bathtub. Awesome, Samantha. Okay. All right, let's hit it with our, glue, our gun. I hope, y'all listen, I hope, oh, thank you, um, I hope I come out here tomorrow, and this is gorgeous. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, y'all, we're gonna let this sit, and, um, Hopefully tomorrow I'll give you an update. Don't get anything, don't get it on anything. It will not come off. Yeah, I didn't figure it'd come off. <laughs> It'll be a clear blob. But guys, if you want the supply list, it's up in the description. I will also put it in um, the comments. And type the word tray. Yeah, listen, I don't smell anything. If, if anything, I might smell a little bit of plastic. But guys, thank y'all so much. Have a great night, and I will see you later. Bye, y'all.